What's that? Uh huh. What has been a long time coming? Well, well, well. If it isn't me, okay. Hey, hey. Okay. Um. Let me see. I got to give y'all a discount code for tonight. Okay. Hi, everybody. I think I can cut these. Let me see. I can cut these lights on. Let me see. Hold on. Y'all know, I still don't know where all the lights are. Hold on one second. I think this is it. No, that ain't it. Oh, that's it right there. There we go. There's the ambiance. Well, look who it is. Hey. Oh, boy. What is it on tonight? Okay. Um... Let me see. Discount code for tonight will be uh, pressure. The word pressure. That's a good one. All right. Give me a second. Let me create you a discount code. The discount code will be pressure. Um, why don't we do 25% tonight? And why don't we do all collections except for Diana with Darius Cooks, aprons, cookbooks, even cookware, hoodies, t-shirts, wine glasses, and all right, let's roll it. What's up, everybody? <laughs> so we have a, quite a few things to do today, so we might as well quit playing around and let's TF get started, okay? Yes, we finna cocktail in one second, but let me get this beef on real fast before it be too late, okay? So look. Here's what I have, okay? I got two cuts of um, YouTube already cutting up. I know, y'all, it's YouTube, it ain't me, I'm sorry. Okay, it's not me, YouTube. It's YouTube, bro. But I'm live on every other platform you can think of, so catch me outside, all right? Okay, I'm gonna start a garbage bag in one second. Look at this, you see how, don't, ain't she beautiful? Look at this. Isn't that, isn't that gorgeous? This is a chuck roast. One of the most amazing tender pieces of meat you could ever imagine in your libido life, okay? And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna put this into the Darius Cooks pressure cooker, okay? I got one I'm gonna put right there. Matter of fact, let me put it over here right now, okay? Let me, let me put it over here right this instant so that you guys will be able to see it. All right. And I call, let me say what I call myself doing. So I call myself like preheating them a little bit. That way they won't take terribly long to run on out. And we can just go and get this party started, okay? Now, if you knew around here, I know I haven't been live in a, in a while. All right, that's okay. I'm live tonight, all right? Um, everything is not ready. Stuff be ready when it be ready, all right? I cook over here the same way y'all cook at y'all house. You don't be having everything in your mise en place down, down to the west side where you live, all right? Neither do I. Okay? All right, so this is my, um, it's a chuck roast, all right? I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna give it a little rinse in a second, but I was just cutting it up a little bit just to sort of help it cook on down. You know what I mean? Cause I like a, I like a tender roast, plain and simple. What I don't have time for is a roast that's not tender, okay? Jesus did not go to Calvary and spend all that time on that cross for you to come out here with some roast that's not that's not right. Amen. Amen. All right. We give that a little rinse. Okay. And then let me clean my board off a little bit. 
Because what we do need to go with this is we do need, let me do this real fast because I'm, I'm ready to make this cocktail, okay? Y'all just hold on, I'm ready to make my cocktail. Okay, let me just grab the stuff I need from right over here. It's over here, you just can't see it. That's all right, you need to see it. Okay, okay, you know what this is called, right? Celery. Huh? Celery, thank you. All we gonna do is just dice them up a little bit. This is two stalks. I feel like y'all can't really see me. I feel like I'm not really censored. Hold on. You know, this is my first time at the new house, so child, I gotta make sure y'all can see everything. Okay, there we go. That might be a little better. Yes? Okay. Okay, celery. What is this? An onion, okay? What we are gonna do, we are gonna politely cut him up, okay? The whole onion, Darius? Yes, child, the whole onion. All right, yes, we cutting up the whole onion. Why are we doing that? Cause we're gonna add flavor to what we're cooking. Now, I went to the farmer's market earlier. I was live on Facebook. The first thing y'all be asking me is, Darius, what kind of onions are you supposed to get? What kind of onion? The kind that be on sale, child. Okay, that's the kind we get. And guess what they had on sale? I'm not making this up. They had red onions on sale. So guess what I picked up? Red onions. Times is hard for everybody, okay? It's not my week. What is it? Times are changing. Every day. We don't get by with them same old ways, okay? Pull it together. We'll bring it through, whatever the words are. Whatever they Whatever they said. Okay. All right. Um, also to this, I got me a little piece of bell pepper. All right. You know black folks, we will onion and bell pepper you so there is no tomorrow. Yes, I don't care. That's what we're going to do. Now, I don't need the whole onion. I mean, the whole... Um, what's this? Uh... I don't need the whole um, bell pepper. Cause you know bell pepper could be strong. And use the green kind. Why? Cause that's what grandmama used. The green kind. It tastes good. Okay. Now let me show you how to put this together in this pressure cooker. You're gonna be, I'm, I'm finna blow your mind. Okay. I'm finna to blow, hold on, it's hot. I need another time. I'm gonna blow your mind, okay? Okay, so what I did have going, like I said, I just wanted to put it, get it together right fast. So I had a little water in here just to preheat it a little bit. Don't worry about that, all right? I'm gonna put my onion. This is the insert. My onion that I just chopped up, this bell pepper that I just did, this celery that I'm gonna put in here as well, okay? And then I got my beef. It don't matter what order you put it in here. It don't really matter. Like, what came first? The vegetables or the beef or the beef or the vegetables? It, whatever your heart feels like, okay? And then I had some um, I had some garlic, okay? I had some garlic, but I also have a boyfriend who I think put everything up. And now I don't know where he put it. No, you just hold on one second. All right. Oh, here you go right here in my face. I got it. I swear I ain't been drinking yet. I'm going to put this on first. Put you a few garlic cloves in here. Not that many, okay? Just a few. And then I went down to the farmer's market where the fresh thyme... You see, you can't buy this in the regular grocery store. It's too expensive. Unless you're growing it, well, you wouldn't buy it, no way. But um, down, this is like a dollar at the farmer's market. So we could, we could swing that, okay? Put you, a, put you a, a bunch of that in here, okay? A bunch of time in there, all right? And then, now watch this, okay? Now get, get ready. All we doing... And we're going to swing us a little chicken bouillon in here. I mean, beef bouillon. I know. I'm coming. I know I'm coming. I'm coming. 
Okay, we're gonna swing us a little beef. Boop. This kind. Okay, this the kind I'm using. Now, when they decide to write me a check, child, I don't even have a um. We just move, y'all. I don't think I even have a. Let me see what I got on the bar. Hold on. I don't have no corkscrew. Let me see what I got. Well, I can't use this. I certainly can't use that. It's okay. Let me see if I find me a corkscrew. I ain't think to, to buy one. Because, you know, everything's still packed up. Well, Darius, where you from? Or the west side of Chicago. How long you lived there? Almost 30 years. What you know how to do? Figure some shit out. Okay. Hold on. Don't. If I shouldn't do this on camera. Hold on one second. I don't want to do this on camera. Okay. Don't. If you. If you are, um, don't do this. Let, ho, go get something to drink, okay? Hold on one second. Go get something to drink. Let me go work on this for a second, okay? Because this got to come out, and, and I'm finna get it out. Come hell, or I don't want to do it on the camera. Y'all hold the line. I'm going to do it over here on the side so I don't make no mess, okay? Because I know me, and I'm about to tear something up. Hold on, I almost got it, see? Just that fast. Uh-huh. I'm twist. come on, God. Who he favors? Me. No corkscrew? Who cares? Now, this is a bottle of red wine. Cabernet Sauvignon. I got it from the farmer's market, so it's not that expensive. Okay, just put the red wine like this here in there. See, just like that, the whole bottle. Yes, okay. Then we're gonna take the red wine. That's it for right now. We're not doing nothing else. Okay, that's it. Were you upstairs watching me? Oh, you were, exactly. <laughs> okay, put this on. Let's lock the lid and let's let him go for a little bit. It's okay, I figured it out, man. Okay, I had to get that on first because that's going to take the longest to cook. Now, let's work on said cocktail. Yes? So excited for this. I don't know what to do. Okay. I'm so excited for this that like I legit do not know what to do. Okay. Now I'm going to pour this in my cup, in my Darius Cook's cup, my wine glass, but I want to put it together first. Okay. So I'm going to show you, okay, how I'm going to do this and then. Okay, 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 okay. First, a little bit of Grand Mariner or Marnier, okay? Just like a half an ounce or so, okay? A little bit of Grand Marnier. This is for the haters on Twitter, okay? They ask me, why you use Cointreau and Grand Marnier? Oh, I think I use uh, Cointreau and Triple Sec. I said, because I want to, and it's my business. So, a shot of that as well. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Next, now, I would use a little simple syrup if you wanted to, okay? 
I don't have any simple syrup, but I do have sweet and sour. So I'm gonna put me a little sweet and sour in here because I like my old fashioned a little new, okay? <laughs> I tried it regular old fashioned. Baby, that thing put, that thing put some, and I got, I already got voluptuous chest hairs, but it sure put a little more than what I needed, okay? I said, well, my God, today, what's happening here, Jesus? Okay, it's a little too much for me. Okay, this is bourbon, okay? The good stuff. You can use whatever kind you like, okay? But I got this today down to the thing, huh? And I'm going to pour me a little bit. Oh, this don't even fit. Don't worry about it. I don't need it no way. I'm going to pour me a little bit right up and through here. That's one shot, two shots, and a touch more. Just put you a little bit. You really don't need a whole lot. Cause, Cause you don't, okay? So just run you a little piece of this like that, okay? And then I got two kinds, but I'm gonna use these today. You could use, now I think, let me tell you what I think. This is between you, me, and the gate post. They make peach bitters, okay? The peach bitters, they, they kinda good. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, they kinda good. But this is orange bitter. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to do one, two, three, four, and five-ish, okay, on the bitters. Now, this ain't really your mama's, your grandmama's old-fashioned, okay? I think I'm going to call it more like a, a new fashion, more so than an old-fashioned, okay? You're supposed to put it in the right cup. I don't have that. I have my Darius Cook's wine glass. By the way, you can get these wine glasses today at shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code PRESSURE at checkout. Save 25% while we are live. Thank you very much. All right, let me get some ice going. Let me get some ice. Oh, and you know, if you're doing this, um, the, the people who are true, authentic um, fans of an old-fashioned, they're turning their nose up at me right now. And I'm kind of glad the comments don't work on Facebook. Hey, Facebook, because you're supposed to use the uh, that one big ice cube. I don't have that. So I'm using what I have, okay? So I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw my old-fashioned right up and through here. Oh, and look at that. Is that a perfect fit or is that a perfect fit? Huh? Okay. Now, before I dig in, what do we need? Luxardo cherries. These things are amazing and very expensive. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of the cherry juice in mine, okay? I don't need it. I don't need no more sugar in my tank, but a little bit of this. Is delicious okay and then I'm gonna put a couple of Luxardo cherries right in you could float them on like a um a skewer if you wanted to whatever your whatever the Lord put on your heart to do okay seek his face he, he got a plan for you as for me oh and if you have an orange you know do the orange and all that but you know this is enough for me huh this I ain't gotta do all that this is enough look at this Okay, now this is an old fashioned, but it's really a new fashion because really this is not really how old fashioned is supposed to go. But this is how I'm going to do it. All right, now, um, bow your head. Oh, if I update my app, oh well. Bow your head and say grace. Grace. I don't know why I waited till I turned 40 to start enjoying. Old fashions. I'm just not sure because this is outstanding. I'm talking about you should we should rename this the problem solver. Okay? 
Cause you ain't got no problems with drink this. It's all solved. Okay. Now let's put this other uh, pressure cooker to work. Yes. By the way, let me welcome everybody. If you brand new to my live streams, at this moment, we're asking all visitors to please stand. Can we please applaud all the visitors who are standing tonight? Thank you so much. To all the visitors who are standing, I'm so glad you're here. I do hope something is said or done that really encourages your heart to come back again. Now, at this time, our impact agents are going to come down the aisle and hand you an information card. We are asking that at this moment, you uh, fill out that information card. And when you go around for offering, you could put that information card in the basket. And please come see us at our table in the East Vestibule after service. And come please claim your free gift. We are so happy you are here. Let us welcome you. Let the foodie in me, let the foodie in you, let the foodie in me, let the foodie in you, you're easy. Mm, 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 mm. You're easy. Mm, 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 mm. You're easy. Bop, 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 bop. Easy to love. You may be seated. Yes, you may be seated in his presence. You ought to feel real welcome now. That was in A flat. That's my key, you know. No, A flat is my key, doc. Okay. If I don't do nothing else, I wear that A flat out. Yes, please play. With, don't play with me. Okay, so I got me another little onion, okay, that I'm going to um, cut up a little bit. <laughs> oh, by the way, where's my new cookbook? Oh, it's upstairs. Jerome, if you're watching, can you bring down um, the pressure cooker cookbook that's sitting on the, um, the TV stand? Since I know you're watching me. Please, it's upstairs. There's a new book out. It's called Apply Pressure. But with soul, and you can get that today on my site, shopdariuscooks.com. Just use the code Bush. No, it's not Bush Lady no more. The, the code is pressure. Okay. Speaking of pressure, quick story. So we in the car, right? Me and Jerome, my boyfriend. I'm driving. Playlist is on shuffle. Um, playlist is on shuffle. Okay. Okay. I can fly like a bird in the eight hours and don't stop. That song. Okay. I will take it to the highest man. That's not an A flat. That's why I sound like this. Okay. The highest man. Tip top. So, Jerome looks at the thing and he goes, <laughs> oh, this is the pressure lady. I said, what? He said, oh, this is the one who sings pressure. You know, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, the pressure. That's what he said. The look I gave him. Okay, I said, wait, what? <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said, what? He said, oh no, yeah, this is the one who sings pressure. Bom, 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 bom. I said, Jerome, no, it's not. Baby, you cannot tell him he did not work for RCA Records. 
Because this fool told me with 100% certainty. Yes, it is. I said, oh, no, Jesus. I said, Google it. So he looked it up. Who it was? <laughs> Amel LaRue. Who sings Pressure? Ari Lennox. Who had it wrong? All right. My <laughs> I mean, couldn't tell him he wasn't right, okay? Um, onion, bell pepper, and a little beef stew meat. You can use whatever you want. This is like, believe it or not, Chuck's, Chuck Rose cut down. But, baby, listen. I ain't sip about a piece of this. <laughs> Ooh, and I'm feeling it already. I ain't sip about a piece of them. Okay. Beef stew. Use whatever you got. Short rib. I mean, I really don't care. I want you to use what you are content with. I better not make one more of those. Because we're not going to last tonight. Wow. Uh, use whatever you content with in your spirit. Yes. Okay. This is Chile Negro. They crossed over on the slave trade. <laughs> These crossed over on the slave trade. These are dried chilies. These are black chilies. They call chili. You see the sign? Chili Negro. Okay, that's what this is right there. Okay, they crossed over on the slave trade. Got off on the boat. And with the rest of us. Okay. This is Chile Cascabel. That's what you want to be when you grow up. You want to be a Cascabel, okay? When you get older, all right? These are Pasilla. Uh-oh. Sorry, TikTok, my bad. My bad, TikTok, I'm sorry. These are Chile, what I say? Pasilla. Okay, I don't know what pasilla mean, but that's what they call it, all right? Deal with it, all right? And my favorite, Chile Guajillo. If you live in Atlanta, do not try to find these at Publix, because damn it, you won't. I'm telling you, I went to 14 Publix grocery stores and could never find what I was looking for. I was so upset with myself. I said, Lord Jesus, you mean to tell me I'm not going to be able to find these? Put your little water in here. Okay. Now, beside the onion and the uh, bell pepper, <laughs> I'm going to put a little piece of garlic in here. That many. Okay. How many is that? As many as you want. Let me get some herbs, huh? Hold the line one second while I do that, please. Y'all ain't got to do you up here watching me, so give me a second. So this, so this. Okay, we're going to put this to the side. We definitely need some of this. I'm getting what I need out the cabinet, okay? We have to season this. We have to season this down, okay? Oh, where can you find them? Great question. Nam de Moon. I went to every Publix from Jonesboro to Buford. From Austell to Decatur. Looking. Now, you know I'm lying. I ain't go that far. But I went to about four or five Publix. Couldn't find shit. Okay? 
I said, damn, Publix. Then try, I went to one Kroger, the one on Howell Mill Road. They pissed me off. They ain't had nothing. And it was one checkout line and 85 people was in line. I put everything back. I walked out, <laughs> out the door. I went to Nam Day Moon the next morning. Everything was there. Okay. Nam Day Moon for the W-I-N. Yes. Thank you. Hold on, y'all. I'm getting everything I need. Hold the line, please. I got a lot of stuff to get, so you just bear with me, all right? Um, I had a cinnamon stick. I don't know what I did with my cinnamon. I just need one cinnamon stick. I thought I had one somewhere. Okay, well, the devil busy, so I don't know where it's at. Okay. Okay, so the only thing I don't have is a piece of cinnamon. I thought I had some, but I don't know where it's at, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. But put you a cinnamon stick in here. What's this? This ain't what I need. This is what I need. Okay, this is a bay leaf. What you do when, um, when he has to go to work? Bay leaves, okay? So put you some bay leaves in there, like two or three of them. Okay? Then we're going to season this up a little bit. Okay, this is ground coriander. Now, I went to DeKalb County, no, DeKalb Farmer's Market. Okay. Because y'all be like, where do you find DeKalb County, DeKalb Farmer's Market? Okay, this is a little, hold on. Okay, this is a little coriander. A little cumin. Or when you get fancy, you say cumin. Okay? I watched something that Martha Stewart did. She said cumin. I said, sis, remember we call <laughs> West Side don't call it that. That's chili powder. Okay? This is onion powder. And then this is garlic powder. I bought another garlic powder. Why I got two out, I don't know. Okay, all right, let me add some bouillon. A little bouillon to this, okay? Like that much, that's all you need, okay? Now, I will put some uh, cinnamon stick in here, but I don't know where it's at. Well, let me see, this might be it right here. Nope, it's not it. I don't know where my cinnamon sticks are. Don't you hate that when, like, you know you be having stuff, but you be like, I don't, I already know where it's at. And I'm telling you, I don't have any problems right now. The way that old-fashioned got me feeling, I feel good. I feel good all over. Sweet things you say to me, ah, 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 I love you. Okay, that was a little chipotle in adobo. This could be a little spicy, like I like it. Okay, this it. This enough. Matter of fact, we don't. <laughs> we don't put every season that we got in here. Okay, come on. Pressure this for 45 minutes, all right? All right, we're gonna pull it off probably before then, but we're gonna see, hold on y'all. Now I'm using my Darius Cook's pressure cooker. All right, if I was doing this on the stove, like, you know, in the oven, it would take a long time. How long would it take? A long time. <laughs> but don't worry about it. It won't take but a second. 45 minutes, okay?
if you don't like an old fashioned, an old fashioned sweetened a little bit, I feel like I'm very grown. Like I should be somewhere with a cigar. Like, hi, my name is Darius. How are you? Okay, now in this pressure cooker, with a little bit of water, okay, here's what I have. I have, I really do miss y'all. Let me just stop for a second. Hold on one second. And this is not the liquor talking. Well, it might be. But I miss y'all. I feel like with all of the scamming allegations and the doxing allegations and the crooking allegations. And you know, I've been on tour doing Dining with Darius Cooks. I just came back this morning from, um, where was I? I did four nights in Richmond. Then we did five nights in DC, six nights in DC. Then we did five nights in, in uh, Baltimore. I just, I've been so busy with work that I feel like I just haven't had a chance to do this. You know, this is like pre-pandemic. So I really, really miss y'all. Okay? I do. I do. I miss y'all. And we have to do this more often. Okay? So we're cooking today. We're also going to cook tomorrow. And then Newark, New Jersey, I will see you on Friday, okay? We go there Thursday. The first dinner is Friday, okay? All right. Yukon gold potatoes. Whole potatoes going in. The Darius Cooks pressure cooker. Okay? Rinse them off. And put them in. That's five potatoes, six, let's call it seven potatoes, okay? That's a pound and a half, easy, okay? This is it. We're going to put this on the pressure cooker. Okay. Oh, I miss you too! <laughs> Low-key, I was trying to let all the other food influencers go live. But they lives don't be laughing like my lives be laughing. Okay. Okay. What I said this was, this was some um, potatoes. Where, we should put some garlic in here. Where's that garlic? Hold on one second. Here it is. Okay. We're going to put a little garlic in here. Yes. All right, we're gonna pressure this twelve minutes is all we need. Okay, you can't see it, but just know that um, it's over here. I'll show you when I can. And this is my—I'm using my Darius Cooks pressure. So if you're just joining. We're using the Darius Cooks pressure cooker. Which is on sale right now. You can get the bundle, apply pressure but with soul, plus the pressure cooker, 25% off. Use the code pressure at checkout. Y'all type pressure in the comments. That's how y'all type, like that. Okay. Also, the code works for everything on my site except for dining with Darius Cooks tickets. Now, skillets and knives on the way. All right. October ish, they'll be here. Don't worry. I got you. Okay. But you can get this is the Regal. No, this is the Royal. Royal wine glass. along with the decanter and the Regal wine glass, 
shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code pressure at checkout to save 25%. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Now, we need to make a little quick tomato basil salad to go on top of the beef that's cooking, okay? So let's do that. I have Call me Stephanie Mills. I feel good. Baby, I feel good all over. Sweet things you say to me. Ah, ha, ha. I love you. I love <laughs> Tomatoes. Okay. <laughs> You're going to wash these off. <laughs> A little bit. First of all, let me just say one thing. I'm not drunk. I just feel really good. Okay? I'm not drunk. Uh -uh. I ain't drinking no more. <laughs> but I feel good. Okay, these are tomatoes. These are Blended tomato. This is blended. So this is like African with Dutch, with American, with French. Okay. These are very much international tomatoes. You know what? Growing up, I'm going to say this. I didn't really like tomatoes. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not really a tomato fan like that. But now... I'm starting to grow into like this phase where I'm loving. I can't make no more of this. How much of this did I drink? Okay. Hold on one second. <laughs> Tomatoes. I'm a chop. <laughs> I'm a chop some up and get them in a bowl. Okay. Because I need something to top. My braised beef. And I really feel like this tomato salad will do the trick. So I'm going to quarter. Don't forget, the code for tonight is, what's the code? It's pressure. Go to shopdariuscooks.com. <laughs> And you can use the code PRESSURE at checkout. No, I'm not drunk. Drunk is a state of mind. I am fully present and fully here. The code is PRESSURE, okay? You can go to shopdariuscooks.com. You chopping onions. No, I'm chopping tomatoes. These are tomatoes. Yeah, they're tomatoes. I love a good tomato. Okay. I wasn't really into tomatoes a whole lot, but now, you know me and tomatoes, we got a little thing going on. Me and tomatoes. ba da ba da We got a thing. Going on. Boom, boom, boom. Okay.
Okay, tomatoes are going down. Okay, now, just a couple of tomatoes is all you need. Let's get a bowl from over here. And let's add the tomato. To the bowl. Yeah? Okay. Tomatoes in. Okay? Tomatoes. Thank you. Let's put a little bit of balsamic vinegar into our... To, and get something fancy. This is Cola Vita. A product of Italy. Okay. Okay, a little bit of this goes in. Okay. Now we do need a little sweetness. Okay. So to sweeten this, you could use sugar. I'm going to use a little bit of agave. Okay. This is light agave. It's beautiful, okay? A little bit of that goes a long way. So good, all right? A beautiful natural. You can use honey or sugar or whatever you want. I'm trying to stay away from, like, refined sugar. But every once in a while, I find my way back to it, okay? All right, a little bit of oil. Yeah, like that, Okay. Let's do a little salt. Just a pinch. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna tell you one thing real fast. I don't care how much I drink, I can still cook. That's it, that's all, okay? All right, and let's grab some, um, now I did pick up some fresh basil. Or if you remember Elan Harris basil, okay? Fresh basil from the supermarket. This is, well, the farmer's market. So it's beautiful basil. It smells so fragrant. What's up, Tigger? What's up, my dude? It's so fragrant, it's so amazing that we're gonna add some of this fresh basil right to this little tomato basil salad situation, okay? Okay, so tomato, agave, or sugar, a little salt, we need some pepper, don't we? We need some pepper, hold on one second, y'all. I got it right here. We need some pepper. Or a pinch or two, you know, like that. Okay. All right. And then let's mince our basil down. It's already been washed and cleaned and all that good stuff. Fresh basil. Right in here. All right. I'm going to put a little, can I put a little onion in here? Do y'all mind? Like a little red onion with the tomato and the basil situation. You don't mind, do you? Okay, good. I didn't think you did. So I'm going to put a little bit of, like a little mince red onion in here as well, okay? A little minced red onion. All 
how bad could this be? Okay, tomato, basil salad over that beautiful red wine braised beef. I mean, hello, okay? I mean, hello. All right, we're gonna do thin slices. That's all we need. Okay, thin slices. All right, and then we'll mince this down. Now we did put good balsamic in here. We put a little bit of oil. Did we put oil in here? I think we did. Oh, hold on. Let me lock this lid. Hold on, y'all. Okay. It's locked. Those are my potatoes over there. Okay. All right. We're going to do a little minced onion. Because nobody, this is the thing. Nobody wants to chomp down on like a big piece of onion. So mince the onion, would you please? Onion, shallots, all that work beautifully, okay? All right, we'll do a little mix, mix, mix. Ugh, can you see this? Let me just go camera to camera so you can see. Yes, I'm cutting, okay? All right, this is ticked, uh, who are you? This is YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Hi. I'm almost at 340,000 th subscribers on YouTube. That's good, okay? Look at that, you see that? YouTube, just a little tomato basil salad, right? As a garnish. Hey, Chantel. Hey, Cookie Crunch. Hey, y'all. Blabbing with Yo-Yo. Hey! What's up? St. James, my dude. Thank you, sir. Okay. Who is this? This is TikTok. Okay. TikTok. They hate me on TikTok. Okay. All the videos on TikTok. Oh, my God. Okay. But here you go, TikTok. This is the tomato basil salad that we just whipped up. Okay. Right on TikTok. Okay. Now, this is... Who's this? This is YouTube, okay? YouTube, no, this is not YouTube. Child, this is Facebook, my Facebook fan page. Hi, Facebook. Look at what I have, okay? A little tomato basil salad. You see that? Okay, very good, okay? Who is this? Facebook, my fan, my uh, personal page on Facebook. Hey, y'all, okay? Basil salad with the tomato, okay? And then this is Instagram. Hey, Instagram. They hate everybody on TikTok. Okay. All right. TikTok. They said you hate everyone. So I shouldn't feel too bad. Okay. Okay. I already said YouTube. Why well, am I say it again? Shit. Okay. Let me taste this just to make sure my flavor's on point. Mmm. Beautiful. Basil is great. Sweet basil, a little agave, sweet tomatoes. Gorgeous. Okay, this goes to the side to hang out for a little bit. Okay, now. Before we make this avocado and watermelon salad, we need to re-up on our beverage. So if you missed it, get ready so I can show you how you make the best new fashioned you've ever had. Let me grab some more ice. Please hold the line. Thank you. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> the ice was ready. 
okay? Now, whenever you do an old fashioned, you're supposed to do the big ice cube. Child, nobody got time for that. <laughs> I was gonna find, I got the molds. They get them on Amazon. But I ain't got time. Okay. All right. We need some Cointreau. All right. So a little bit of Cointreau. Like that much. Okay. It's an orange liqueur. Speaking of orange liqueur, so is my. No, that was Grand Marnier. Oh my God. Darius, what is wrong with you? That was Grand Marnier, okay? Now, to the Grand Marnier, we're gonna add a little bit of Cointreau, okay? Like that much, all right? I don't know about you, but I love my old fashions to be a little on the sweet side. So, a little bit of sweet and sour. You could use simple syrup. Sugar and water. All right, whatever. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna add as much bourbon as I did before because I'm toasted. <laughs> A little bourbon. That's it, all right? A couple of shots is all you need. What the Bible say? As often as you do this, in remembrance of me. Okay, and then we're going to take our bitters. These are our orange bitters. I was telling you earlier that I don't mind you using peach bitters for this because those are really, really good, FYI. Okay, like you can certainly use peach bitters um, over orange bitters. Baby. It don't bother me, not one bit, okay? A little mix, 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 and we pour. Okay. We need some cherries. Luxardo cherries. I like to add some of the cherry juice to mine because it's so good. These cherries are so expensive. You need to have your mother's maiden name, your last two check stubs, and proof of ID just to be able to afford these shits, okay? But they are delicious, all right? I don't know who came up with these. But I thank you for your contribution to our society. All right. As often as ye do this, do this in remembrance of me. Oh, wait a minute. Um, who is this? This is Instagram. Instagram, I got 39 seconds remaining. So I need to end this and come right back. All right. So let me end this, and then I'll be right back for Instagram. Y'all hold the line one second, all right? Instagram, here I come. Wait, I think I'm coming. Hold on. Da, eh, eh. No, I don't want to share it. I want to do that. Uh-uh. Discard video. Hit that. Who? I'm so drunk. I don't know what to do, child. Okay, there we go. That's for Instagram. Please, y'all got to make this. Baby, this thing is amazing. Stop talking about the creator while being under the influence. Show some respect. Sis, log off right now. Okay, Jesus' first miracle was what? Water to wine. Water 
too wide. What kind of man is this? Who can turn water to wine? Quit playing with me. Okay? Please stop playing with me. Okay? And furthermore, let me just say this. For the record, I am not under the influence. The influence is under me. <laughs> if you ain't got no haters, you ain't doing it right. Okay? The more you drink, the better the food tastes. Watermelon. With the seeds. Okay? Now, I'm going to lie to you. I ain't that hotel. All right, seedless watermelon is all right with me. All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. A seedless watermelon, I'm fine with it. All right, I ain't got time to be spitting out no seeds no way. Okay, I don't have no time to be spitting out no seeds. The people be like. People be like, I be like, <laughs> I don't mind no seeds, bro. I'm cool with the seeds. You understand me? I'm cool with them. With the seeds or without the seeds. Honestly, the seeds get in my way. I tears a watermelon apart. From start unto finish. Okay? Hold on, y'all. Let me um they be like, oh the seeds, the seeds. What do the seeds make it? Like non- Non-GMO or something? I don't know, but... That's how I chop when nobody is looking. <laughs> I just cubed up some watermelon. You see that? Okay, I just cubed up some watermelon. That's that. I ain't seen no comments. Y'all okay? Hi, Instagram. Hi, my Facebook friends. Hi, my Facebook business page. Hi, TikTok. Hi, YouTube. I ain't seen now. Am comment. I hope y'all are right. Because I am. Okay. To the watermelon. I have an avocado. She's pretty. She's gorgeous. You are beautiful. Get a spoon, and we're gonna spoon out the avocado. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you for a second. Between you, me, and um, the gate post. I was taking me a little break from live stream cooking because I was letting everybody else go live and do their thing, right? But the people don't be live streaming cooking 
like they supposed to be live stream cooking. So I had to come on back and make my appearance. Wait, hold on. Come on, you come back over here. I wasn't done with you yet. Chop your. Chop your avocado the same size as your um, watermelon, okay? Okay, we have an avocado watermelon salad I'm working on. Am I done? Of course not. I am not nearly complete with, let me get a towel. Hold on one second, y'all. Am I done? No, I am not nearly complete with this salad. I'm just getting started. But I do wanna show you um, every step of the way so that you see how beautiful this comes out, okay? So we're gonna have our BDA tacos. Y'all call them, and y'all get on my nerve with this, okay? Y'all call them Berea. Who TF is Berea, okay? They are BDA. BDA. Okay, so to go with our BDI tacos, I got a little piece of, okay, salad. All right, let's put the rest of the ingredients in here that we're going to, um, that we're going to need, okay? To this, I got a little cucumber, okay? This is a little Persian cucumber, but it's all in the same family, melon, Cucumber. All right, it's all like in the same family. Okay. I remember one time I had a party. Y'all remember my party? I had I had a um what party was that I had? I had a party with um I had a party it was like a end of summer party or something like that I had like a while ago. And I know like I really wanted to have like the Mexican like tahine and melon and all that. Because I'm such a huge fan of that. That was like 2018 I think I guess. Okay, so I'm going to add some cucumber to my um, avocado and watermelon, all right? Now, we need a little bit of red onion. Well, maybe I don't have any more onion. Maybe I used, oh no, I have some. It's, it's these. I don't care how intoxicated I become. I still cook. Honestly, I think the more intoxicated you are, the better the food tastes. Play with me, okay? All right, a little bit of mince on this. All right, I'm gonna add onion and garlic, okay? So red onion, 
I mean, come on. Doesn't this already look good? I haven't even seasoned this with anything. But doesn't this already look good? Look at this. I haven't even seasoned it. Okay? I haven't even seasoned it. And doesn't it already look like what's when it's time to eat dairy? When we go eat. I know. It's good, right? Okay. Let me grab a little bit of cilantro. Okay. I'm a fan of fresh cilantro. There's nothing better in this world besides fresh. If you're one of them people who don't like cilantro because you're like, it tastes like soap, I am so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry for you. But the rest of us are like, bread. bring on... The cilantro, okay? Okay, don't forget, the code for tonight is pressure. If you're just joining us, let me try to catch you up to speed. In one pressure cooker, we've got Yukon Gold Potato. Straight in, a little water, that's it. 17 minutes, start to finish, done. The other pressure cooker, I have um, some beef stew over there. Beef stew meat with onion, bell pepper, celery, garlic, tons of chili, tons of amazing Latin spices. Okay. That's almost done. Over here, I have one more Darius Cook's pressure cooker. Cooking up, this is our chuck roast with the red wine that's going to go with the tomato basil salad. And I'm sipping on a new fashion. Oh no, I'm not high or tired. I can go all night. All right, now for this salad, before we do our potatoes, fresh cilantro goes in, okay? Chopped up like that, okay? So we have we have avocado, cucumber, watermelon, and cilantro. We need a little garlic in this, okay? So I'm gonna do a little garlic because that's what I like, okay? The question is, what the hell is it? All right here. All right, couple cloves of garlic. Smashed down, okay? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, okay? Chopped garlic in there, all right? Now let's work on this cucumber. Oh shit, hold on. <laughs> let's work on this salad a little bit, all right? We need some lime juice. Let me see what I have. Don't worry, I'm with you. These are called limes. See that? Okay, those are limes. Okay, so we're gonna cut open one lime, two limes, three limes. And you really have to fork your limes, people, okay? So you take a fork and you put the fork in and you squeeze until all the juice comes out, okay? So that's one of six. Here is two of six, okay? Three of six. And I just use my fork and twist the lime around the fork. It gets the most juice out. There's four of six. Okay. Five of six. No, one, two, three, four, five, and six of six. Okay, lime juice from somebody's farm. It don't matter who squirts. Okay, give that a stir. Now let's season this, all right? A little bit of kosher salt. Not that much, okay? A little bit of, where is it? A little sugar. I don't know what I did with it. Here it goes. All right, potatoes, I know you're done. I'm releasing the steam from the potatoes, okay? A little bit of sugar. A little touch of oil. A little pinch of black pepper. Mix that together, and you're gonna have the most beautiful tomato, cucumber, avocado salad to go with our Bedia tacos, okay? Look at that, look at that, see that? You see that? Somebody said something smart. Hold on. Diabetes and high blood pressure with a little cholesterol. That looks great. Block. Confirm. So does that. That looks great as well. A block looks great on you. Okay? All right. Let me taste this just to see if I need any more sugar 
or any more salt, okay? Because I might need to adjust my seasoning some. I just don't know till I taste it. Baby. Baby. When I tell you the sweetness from the watermelon, mmm. The crunch mm -mm, from the cucumber, outstanding. Outstanding, okay? That goes on the side. Now, since our potatoes are done, we should work on those, okay? Let's work on those. So our potatoes are here to go with the red wine braised beef, which is almost done, okay? Now I am using my Darius Cook's pressure cooker, which you can get today at shop. DariusCooks.com. Use the code PRESSURE at checkout to save 25%, okay? All right, here we go. I have released the pressure. Seventeen minutes, y'all from start to finish, okay? And I'm gonna show you, when I talk about fork tender, this is 17 minutes, fork tender, okay? The fork goes all the way through every potato in literally 17 minutes. Let me drain the water out and then we can work on our um, potatoes, okay? All right, so I'm draining the water. And I'll use a spoon to do this, all right? So I'm just going to push and just break up the, look at this. You see this? The Darius Cooks, look at this. The Darius Cooks pressure cooker. Not an Instant Pot, not a Ninja. The Darius Cooks pressure cooker, okay? Potatoes, done. All right, 17 minutes from start to finish. Beautiful, amazing potatoes. Yukon gold, all right? I'm just gonna break them up with a spoon and I'm gonna work them out and season them down, okay? I mean, to perfection. I did not peel these. All I did was wash them off and put them in here for 17 minutes, okay? Now, let's work on, oh, potatoes and garlic, all right? So, potatoes went in, whole garlic cloves went in, okay? Let's start with a little mascarpone cheese. Okay. A little bit of mascarpone. <laughs> oh, a little bit. Okay. You don't need that much. 
mascarpone cheese. You know what? Put the whole thing in. Why not? Okay? Why not? It's a potato, y'all. Potatoes could benefit from a little mascarpone cheese. All right? I'm going to mix this up. Now, this pressure cooker, y'all, I have my own, my own brand of pressure cooker. Available for you at shopdariuscooks.com. You can use the code PRESSURE at checkout to save 25%, okay? Now, to my mascarpone cheese, I want to add in a little bit of butter. Now, we don't need that much butter. All we need is a little bit of butter to go with these potatoes, okay? Just a little bit, okay? One stick goes in. All right, now don't forget, we did put the garlic cloves in here as well. So the garlic cloves got smashed up with the potato, okay? We put in mascarpone cheese, a little bit of salt. Now, you know potatoes need salt. I don't want to hear y'all mouth, okay? Y'all kill me with that. Oh, my God. Look how much salt he put in. Bitch, it's a potato, okay? The shits are bland as hell, okay? So you're going to need to put something in there to help them wake up a little bit, okay? You need that, okay? You do. You need it. I won't hear your mouth. Okay? I don't want to hear your mouth. Now, I'm going to put me a little piece. I don't need that much. Okay? A little piece of cream is going to go in here. Just a little piece. Okay? Because I don't need a whole, whole, whole lot. All right? I'm going to give this a good mix. This has the salt, the pepper, the fresh garlic, okay. Y'all, 17 minutes from start to finish and I did not peel a thing, okay. A little bit of garlic powder. We give this a mix. Oh my God, oh my Jesus. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna go camera to camera to show you what this looks like. Okay, look at that. Look at that. This is that Darius Cooks pressure cooker that you can get at shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code pressure at checkout to save 25%, okay? You can get the pressure cooker and the cookbook for 25 per stock. Okay. Let me see what they need. Let me see. Wait, hold on. It escaped. There he is. Darius, why you did this like that, baby? The absolute best. Mm. 
Mm. Okay. Now, my beef, let me release the pressure. Okay. Let me show you. Seventeen minutes, y'all. From start to finish, I peeled nothing. Okay. All right. Also, my bedia is done. Let me release the pressure from the bedia tacos. Hold the line one second. Hold on one second. I'm going to show you the power of the Darius Cook pressure cooker, which you can get at shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code PRESSURE at checkout to save 25%, okay? Okay. Oh, let me get my skillet ready too. That I was done. I ain't done. The Darius Cooks Everyday Skillet October will be in stock, okay? Let's see what we got inside. Hey, hi, how are you? It's so good to see you smell so good. What you been doing all this time? What you doing? Where you at? Oh, you got plants? Don't say that. I'm sipping wine in a robe. Oh, it feels too good to be alone. Huh? I'm talking about falling apart. Do you see that? This is the Darius Cooks pressure cooker. Okay? Falling apart. Where apart. Look at that beef. Look how tender that beef has become in 45 minutes. I'm sorry. What you said? <laughs> I thought you said something. <laughs> Hold on one second. I can't hear you. Hi. <laughs> the Darius Cooks pressure cooker is on sale right now at shopdariuscooks.com. 
Uh huh. Use the code pressure at checkout to save what? 25%. Because I thought somebody said something. I can't hear you. Huh? Oh, that's what I thought. What I thought. Because I thought somebody had said something. Ain't nobody said nothing? Ah, oh, okay. Uh-huh. The Darius Cooks pressure cooker. You can only get it at one place. Order today. It ships tomorrow. Shop Darius Cooks. Dot com. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to pull my beef out. My tender beef that only took how long? 45 minutes. Now, if I was doing this on the stove, it would have taken a couple of hours to make this beef super, super tender. But this only took me 45 minutos. Okay? And then what I want to do is I'm going to put everything else into this blender. So I'm going to put all those beautiful peppers, okay, and onion and garlic right into this blender. While I put the tender beef into my bowl, okay? Now, I'm gonna tell you one thing I'm getting ready to do that I know Every Latino is finna turn their nose up at me. And let me tell you something. I don't care. Okay? Now, these are all those peppers. Remember those guajillo peppers and um, those ancho chilies and those chilies, chili negros. Remember all those? Look at this. First of all, look at... Hold on. This is the beef right here, child. Okay, this is the beef. In 45 minutes, look how tender this beef has gotten, okay? It's so tender that it basically falls off of the fork, okay? 45 minutes. All it took, okay? Deal with it. Now, in my blender, I have the chipotles and the peppers and all that stuff. And all this is good. Except, I feel like it needs one ingredient. Now, I know this is, uh-oh. I know this is not um, traditional, but it tastes good. A little pinch of brown sugar. Okay, the brown sugar is gonna cut all that bitterness from the beef and the peppers, okay? So I'm putting it in with the brown sugar. And I'm gonna blitz this up. Let me get rid of these bay leaves. Hold on one second, y'all. The bay leaves can go. 
Okay. Let's blitz this. All right. Okay, and we have a beautiful, let me add a little more, let me add a little more juice. Hold on one second. We have a beautiful consomme for our um, Bedia tacos, okay? Don't forget this has all that onion and garlic and bell pepper. Let's hold this over. Let's make a taco. Okay? I know y'all like, finally! It's time to eat, okay? Now, here's what I like to do. I like to use a flour tortilla. Una tortilla de harina. Okay? Let's get two of them. I mean, you use corn too, but flour is fine. That's all you got. I'll be honest with you. They probably had, um, they probably had flour, but the Instacart people, <laughs> the Instacart people gave me what they had, okay? So that's it. So I'm gonna use flour. Now, I'm using my Darius Cooks Everyday Skillet, which will be back in stock in October, all right? I know you guys are waiting for it, and I want you to have it, so get ready. And also, FYI, it will never be as cheap as what it was last year. Last year, you got it for 65% off. This year, the lowest that skillet will ever be is $75, okay? All right, I'm gonna put some oil in, olive oil, into a hot skillet. Flour tortilla goes in, all right? What I wanna do is really sort of crisp up this little bit of tortilla first. Let me get my cheese out too, okay? What cheese am I using? I'm glad you asked. I'm using a quesadilla cheese, okay? Because the melting on this is outstanding, okay? And that's what we want is a nice sort of like melting cheese. So I'm gonna pull some cheese off, put the cheese in. Let's add some of my beef that is like super tender. All right, I'll add some beef in. All right, so I just kind of want to fry up my tortilla with some beef. This is how I like to do it. Now you do it however you like. I'm telling you what I like, okay? All right, I'm gonna add in some more cheese because you can never have enough cheese, okay? And then as it cooks, I'm gonna fold over my um, tortilla, okay? Let me fold over my tortilla.
Okay, so while that's cooking, I'll take a little bit of my consomme, my broth that I made, and I'll put the consomme over with the brown sugar in it. I'll put it over my tortilla. Y'all hold on one second, okay? Let me give them a flip. Hold the line. Oh, look at this. Look at this, okay? Woo! <laughs> Who's gonna eat good? We in? Okay. This how I like to do my BD tacos, bread. Okay. You see that? Uh -huh. <laughs> Back on the stove. You just hold on one second, okay? Don't go nowhere. I got you. Okay? Now I'm showing you how to do a couple of things in the Darius Cook's pressure cooker, which really, in my humble opinion, cook up in like no time at all, all right? And if you got 45 minutes to spare, you can put the beef in, walk away, come back, and then everything is ready to go, okay? So let me get a plate. All right, and remember we whipped up a little bit of that watermelon salad. This is the watermelon with the avocado and the cucumber, very fresh, very delicious, very nutritious, okay? And I'm gonna serve this. I mean, you could do it with like a rice if you wanted to, um, whatever, whatever like floats your boat. Okay, but I'm gonna do a little bit of like Cucumber salad, and then let me get my Bedia taco out of. Oh, look at that! Look at that. Okay, so I like to fry my taco up first, and then once I fry it, then I'll put together this okay now the one thing i do love about a bd taco is a little tinge of sour cream okay and we had this discussion earlier on instagram i personally think sour cream is sour cream i don't care where you get it from daisy breakstone publix this has cultured pasteurized cream, grade A whey, food starch, sodium phosphate, and bean gum. That's it, all right? Love it, love it, love it. Okay, we'll do a little sour cream. Use whoever you like. I like this one. Okay, and we are ready, all right? Okay, we are ready. Okay, okay, let me take my Bedia taco, a little sour cream dip, okay? It's hot, but hold on. Mm. 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 Listen. Mm. The Darius Cooks 
pressure cooker. Go to shopdariuscooks.com and this pressure cooker can be yours, okay? You can have this by Friday and by Friday you'll be eating this, okay? Mm. Mm, so good. Okay. And we have the tomato, basil. No, the tomato, no tomatoes. The watermelon, cucumber salad. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. And fresh. Mm. Mm. It's the fresh squeezed lime juice for there. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, only while I'm live, we also have the pressure cooker cookbook on sale. Okay? Shop DariusCooks.com. Use the code pressure. Okay, y'all. Let me find out. Y'all want a pressure cooker. Okay. Use the code pressure at checkout to save 25% on the Darius Cooks pressure cooker and the um, pressure cooker cookbook. Okay? Now, one second. Because we have one more thing to deal with. Okay. Let's deal with that. Look at this. Hold on one second. Mm. Mm. So good. Okay. Let me show you what else. We have a beautiful red wine braised beef that we've done, okay? Let me show you. Now this was that beautiful chuck roast that we did. Look at this, okay? Look at this and let me show you how tender this is in 40, oh, I can't even pick it up, Jesus Christ. In 45 minutes, okay? Look at this, I can't even pick it up. Look at this, the Darius Cooks Pressure cooker. This is your red wine braised. Look at this. Hold on. Let me see. Look how tender this is in 45. Oh, oh, I lost the piece in 45 minutes. You see this? Okay. Okay. Now, let me show you how we do this. Remember... Those 17 minute potatoes, okay? Here we go. Potatoes on the bottom. Okay, like that. Yes, thank you. Let's add a little bit of our red wine braised beef on the top. Okay, with the tomato and the, the onion and the thyme and the whole situation. Okay? Now, 
If you want to thicken it up, a little cornstarch slurry will thicken it for you. And then we're going to add a little bit of this tomato basil salad right on top. Okay? Oh, my God. Jesus. Oh, my Lord Jesus. Okay? So we don't use this pressure cooker to make two meals. All right? We did a Bedia taco. All right? with a beautiful watermelon avocado salad. And then we did a lovely red wine braised beef with a little bit of potato and a little bit of tomato basil salad. Do you see that? Okay, now let me, let me dig into this because I don't know how this tastes. I will tell you this much. Look how tender this beef is in 40, a whole chuck roast, people, in 45 minutes versus four hours, okay? Look at this, look at this. Ooh, look at that, okay? All right, please bow your head so that we can say grace. Thank you, all Grace. Mm. Oh my God. Okay. First of all, red wine everywhere. Okay. Second of all, the beef is so delectable and tender, it makes no sense. Third of all, the potatoes. 17 minutes start until finish, okay? And the tomato basil salad. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen. I'm gonna finish this off. Recipes like this, you can get them at one place. That tomato basil salad with that agave, pay, pay. Oh, okay. DariusCooks.tv. There's two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Huh? Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time, I want to wish you a happy cooking. Oh. oh, from my heart to yours, okay? Mm. So good, all right? Shop DariusCooks.com. 45 more minutes. Use the code pressure at checkout to save 25%. I love y'all. I gotta go. Goodbye.